I'm going to use this balls in this ball pit to demonstrate to you how evaporation works. Now here, the balls are going to be doing the individual particles, and I'm going to provide the energy by shaking the ball pit. And Primrose, come on, is going to make the occasional guest appearance for you. So hopefully you remember, and if you don't, go and check out one of my other videos on this, that when particles are in a solid, they don't have a lot of energy, they're in a very, very fixed position. So they might be vibrating just a little bit, they might be a little bit wiggly going on, but not a lot is happening. When they turn into a liquid, they gain more energy. And they have a conformation where they're, they're, they're very close together, like these balls, all these balls are touching each other, but they've got more energy, so they can actually move around quite a lot. They're not in a fixed shape, but they do have a fixed volume, so we can't squash them. Now, as they gain more and more energy, they start to move around even more. And every so often, very occasionally, one particle will get enough energy to evaporate. And that is when we start to see balls leaving the pit. So as the particles get enough energy, they can escape a surface tension of the liquid that they're in and they can evaporate. Or in this case, as the balls get enough energy, as they get shaken around more and more, starting to have to talk quite loudly now, they can escape the ball pit. Now, at every single temperature, there is evaporation happening. It's not just like at the boiling point, everything evaporates all of a sudden. If you leave a glass of water by your bed or in the kitchen, it will slowly, over days, evaporate. That's because when all of these balls, all the particles are moving around, every so often, just by chance, one of them does get enough energy to evaporate. It's not like a fixed point where it all happens. It's kind of like a slow, very slow, gradual curve. Now, when we hit the boiling point, the particles have lots and lots of energy, which means loads and loads of them can have the energy to escape, and loads and loads of the balls are going to go out of the ball pit. This is going to take me a while to tidy up. Here it goes. Poor Primrose, that's then her running for the gap flap. Okay, so balls are the particles. Me shaking it was the energy. And when a ball has enough, or a particle has enough energy, it can escape out of the ball pit, or it can evaporate. It's exactly the same um, the situation, no matter what the liquid is, doesn't just happen with water, all liquids will eventually evaporate. Um, yeah, I hope that made it a bit clearer for you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, I'm going to do quite a few videos on this, because it's actually quite a complex topic, even though it comes right at the start of physics. Any questions, pop them in the uh, comments below. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by example, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.